measurement, measuring capacity. Suppose you have a bucket that you have to fill up completely with water and you have a 1 litre bottle of water. You find out that you have to empty the bottle 10 times in the bucket to fill it up. So, the capacity of the bucket is 10 litres. What if you have a smaller bucket and you have a 1 litre bottle of water? You find out that you have to empty the bottle 5 times in the bucket to fill it up. So, the capacity of the bucket is 5 litres. We know that the measure of capacity is a litre. A litre is a big measure of capacity. When we take medicines, we need to take smaller amounts of liquid. So, we have smaller measures too. Have you seen a measuring glass? The smaller markings are milliliter markings. A milliliter is a smaller unit. We write L as a short form for liters. We write ML as a short form for milliliters. Remember the conversion. 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. 1000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter. Try out some conversion examples now. Remember this. 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. 1000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter. Convert into milliliters. 4 liters is equal to 4000 milliliters. 3 liters is equal to 3000 milliliters. 7 liters is equal to 7000 milliliters. 12 liters is equal to 12,000 milliliters. Convert into milliliters. 2 liters is equal to 2,000 milliliters. 9 liters is equal to 9,000 milliliters. 10 liters is equal to 10,000 milliliters. 5 liters is equal to 5,000 milliliters. Convert into milliliters. 5 liters 70 milliliters is equal to 5,000 milliliters plus 70 milliliters is equal to 5,070 milliliters. 16 liters 8 milliliters is equal to 16,000 milliliters plus 8 milliliters is equal to 16,008 milliliters. 45 liters 324 milliliters is equal to 45,000 milliliters plus 324 milliliters is equal to 45,324 milliliters. You know that 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. What is half of a liter? Half liter is equal to 500 milliliters. Convert into milliliters. 1 and a half liters is equal to 1 liter plus half liter is equal to 1000 milliliters plus 500 milliliters is equal to 1500 milliliters. Convert into milliliters. 6 and a half liters is equal to 6 liters plus half liter is equal to 6000 milliliters plus 500 milliliters is equal to 6500 milliliters. You know 
that 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. What is quarter of a liter? 1 fourth liter is equal to 250 milliliters. Convert into milliliters. 13 1 fourth liters is equal to 13 liters plus 1 fourth liter is equal to 13,000 milliliters plus 250 milliliters is equal to 13,250 milliliters. You know that 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. What is 3 quarters of a liter? 3 quarters is equal to quarter plus quarter plus quarter is equal to 1 fourth liter plus 1 fourth liter plus 1 fourth liter is equal to 250 milliliters plus 250 milliliters plus 250 milliliters is equal to 750 milliliters. So, 3 quarters of a liter is equal to 750 milliliters. You know that 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. 3 quarters of a liter is equal to 3 fourth liter is equal to 750 milliliters. Convert into milliliters. 4 3 fourth liters is equal to 4 liters plus 3 fourth liter is equal to 4000 milliliters plus 750 milliliters is equal to 4750 milliliters. Convert into milliliters. 8 3 fourth liters is equal to 8 liters plus 3 fourth liter is equal to 8000 milliliters plus 750 milliliters is equal to 8750 milliliters. Try solving word problems. Read the question carefully. Jaya's grandmother has to take 10 milliliters of vitamin syrup, 250 milliliters of protein shake and 500 milliliters of vegetable juice every morning. How much liquid does she take? What do we have to find out? The total liquid that Jaya's grandmother takes. We can find that by adding the vitamin syrup, protein shake and vegetable juice. When we add up the liquids, we get the final answer. Total liquid is equal to 10 milliliters plus 250 milliliters plus 500 milliliters is equal to 760 milliliters. So, the total liquid that Jaya's grandmother takes is 760 milliliters. Try solving word problems. Read the question carefully. A bucket can hold 15 liters of water. There is already 8.5 liters of water in it. How much more water can we add in? What do we have to find out? The extra water that we can add in. We can find that by considering the capacity of the bucket and from that subtracting the water that is already in the bucket. We can convert everything to milliliters so that we can subtract. When we do that, we get the final answer. More water to add is equal to 15 liters minus 8.5 liters is equal to 15,000 milliliters minus 8,500 milliliters is equal to 6,500 milliliters. So, we can add in 6,500 milliliters of water to the bucket. 
Did you understand how to measure capacity? Okay.